I'm Erica Lopez with your eBlog today. There are two new art installations at the Aurora Highlands Public Art Park, Hogan Park at Highlands Creek, a neon graffiti mural and another massive sculpture. They now join Umi, you may remember, the 21-foot sculpture that debuted there last August. It is all so cool. Here to talk about it, we welcome the art curator, Carla Ferreira. Carla, thank you for joining me today. Thank you so much for having me back. Of course, yes. I, okay, first of all, can we talk about your outfit first? Because this is an ode <laughs> to one of the artists. So can you give us a, a quick rundown of that? Yes, so this outfit was created by Olivia Steele. She does embroidery. It says beautiful disaster on the front, and I want everything all I ever wanted was everything. All I ever wanted was yes. everything. Um, so she does a collab with this brand, Sun Chasers. And okay. It's silk, it's really comfy. Gorgeous. So she's kind of a multidisciplinary artist. She did the sign. She did the neon that we're going to talk yeah. about. Um, and I also got a tattoo oh with her goodness. handwriting that is part of the mural that we just oh, installed. That is, you're like repping the brand so hard and I'm <laughs> obsessed with it. Okay, before we talk about the new installations, I want you to share a little bit about the Art in the Park program and kind of the vision behind that. So Art in the Park is a public art program. So it's open 365, um, 24 hours a day for people to come and, and look at on their own. Um, right now we have a two mile long art walk essentially. And we're also coming up with an interactive way for people to learn more about it on our app, on cool. the Aurora Highlands app. And there's a map and there's videos that we make and content we curate just to show you as if you were in a museum, all the things about the artists that you might wanna know. Um, and since Umi has been there, we've seen so many visitors that we wow. actually just built a makeshift parking lot until we're ready to build like our proper parking lot with our 40 acre additional park that'll be next to it. Um, so we just, we've been seeing a lot of visitors from all over the world and people that come over on layovers even wow. just to come see her families. Um, That's awesome. Sunrise and sunset are definitely the two best times to come though, if you're looking to come out. Okay, wonderful. Let's talk about the first installation, the neon graffiti art mural, who, you know, you're kind of rocking today. <laughs> So um, it was a collaboration, which is really unique because a lot of the time it's hard to get artists to collaborate with each other, um, but they both were working in Berlin. So Olivia Steele has a studio in Berlin and Snyder is a really famous uh, graffiti artist there for the last 20 years. So he came out with her and he did a Phoenix um, on a 30 foot long tunnel. And then wow. she did neon letters that say the only way out is through, which is what I have right here. I love that. Um, and so that is our new installation. It's just to the east of Umi. It's okay. really beautiful. And then if you walk through that tunnel, then you'll see we have a new 30 foot tall sculpture. Wow. It's seven and a half meters tall, but then it has a base. So it does make it about 30 feet tall. Wow. Um, and it's by Michael Benesty. Okay. He's from Belgium. It's called Broken But Together, and it's made out of uh, chrome stainless steel. It's so cool. I mean, they're both so awesome. You guys just keep adding and adding out there. I know we're out of time, which I hate, but really quickly, can you just say why it's so important to offer these free art pieces? We really want to inspire the next generation of leaders and thinkers and creatives. So we want everybody to come out and learn and explore. Amazing. Carla, thank you again for joining me today. I so appreciate it. Thank you. Of course. And you all can see these incredible installations right now in the Aurora Highlands at Hogan Park. We have much more information on our website, 9news.com.